there's nothing like fog and mist and the light breaking through to create fantastic atmosphere in your paintings. Here are some examples to help you if you have a problem in that area. And if not, maybe you'll just enjoy. So, here we go. The first painting is Peggy's Cove in the fog. This would be late afternoon, or early evening. Notice how the uh, sailboat is more defined because it's up closer. And the lighthouse and the rocks are blurred because they're deep in the fog. And But the light shining through uh, just creates a, a, an awesome atmosphere. And so do the reflections and the gulls are just subtly there as well. Here's another good old days of Peggy's Cove painting. This one turned out uh, better than I expected. I really like it. The buildings in the foreground, again, notice they are more defined. The building on the right is less defined. And on the left, there's a couple of buildings there. They're enshrouded in the fog. But notice the light at the top of the painting just peeking through. And all that gives a mysterious uh, feeling and uh, emotion in the painting. In this Peggy's Cove Lighthouse painting, uh, notice again the light breaking through and the fog hanging around and the reflections just after a storm, a calm. And notice how the colors in the background are muted and then they're more brilliant in the front. Well, it's not really brilliant, but uh, they're more defined because there's less fog. This next painting is another of my good old days of Peggy's Cove. Uh, notice the storm has passed and the break is coming in the clouds. And yet the light is uh, shining on the uh, fish door on the right. Notice the light. And uh, it gives a, an, off, an awesome um, feeling. It's just, uh, you know, the peace and the calm that come after a storm has passed. Beam on Lighthouse. Again, the, you can notice the, the waves are gently rolling, a little bit of a swell, but the beam shining through the clouds. And you've seen that, I'm sure, uh, when a storm is breaking, how the light shines through in, in a beam. And uh, this one, is, is, uh, it, it just offers uh, emotion and feeling and the joy you have when you see the light breaking through. It's, there's something magic about it. The beauty of painting wet on wet is every once in a while you'll have a happy accident. And that's what happened in this um, over the crest, I call it. This painting just fell together in about 20 minutes. And uh, it just happened. It, and um, the flow is there, the emotion in the waves and the seagulls and the light breaking through again. It just creates a wonderful uh, feeling and uh, a joy it brings to you. Uh, you can place yourself right there in the painting. This 24 by 30 oil, uh, again, after a storm out at sea, big swells, no more wind, and the notice the light shining on the water and on the schooner. Your eye comes in from the left corner. You run in along through the wave, past the schooner, and then up out through the sky. See S or the Hogarth curve. But the mood that the uh, reflection of the light brings to you with the fog hanging around, it just uh, brings peace knowing that you made it safely through the storm. Here's another 24 by 30 oil. And again, this is, uh, you know, <laughs> you may see a pattern here where I love doing paintings after the storm. Uh, and the gull, the lone gull flying through uh, brings a sense of peace uh, and yet again here the light reflects with the fog hanging around. It's just peaceful. And when people, a lot of people see this, they just, uh, oh, you know. So it's rewarding to know that you've touched a heart. Here's a little watercolor that I did, I did as a demonstration uh, on waves. And notice again the direction that the light is coming and it's reflecting on the crests of the waves. It's just uh, another one of those peaceful moments. Here's a, an example of the Hogarth curve. Now it's a backwards S or uh, more like a Z, you'll see, but it gives you that flow. And I loved going fishing when I was a kid and uh, this was uh, on the lake. And again, notice how the distant trees just flow into the sky and, uh, and that light 
it just it it brings you um, tranquility. By now you can probably tell I love the water, whether it's lakes or ocean. Uh, and again, it's just so uh, amazing to see the reflections on the water. I mean, I, I never get tired of looking at it. And uh, notice how soft the edges of the trees are, and the and the effect of the mist hanging through the sky reflecting on the water. It's just a peaceful scene to uh, relax the mind. There's nothing like letting your uh, paint flow when it's wet and wet. And this one, even uh, when I just tilted my paper down, you'll see how the reflections kind of swirl. Now, you probably would never really see that in real life, but it just gives a, a, the movement and the effect. And uh, again, notice how the light comes in uh, when you come in on the right hand corner, uh, you go up through and then out through the sky. It's just uh, it's another one of those peaceful moments. If you've ever done any hiking, no doubt you've come across scenes like this uh, lake here. It's one of my favorite. Again, I just picture myself walking along there uh, with the light breaking through the sunlight. You know how it is. And um, with the, the hills in the distance, just faded out and when when it's wet and moist like that the color is rich but yet the fog mutes it and it just creates a, a wonderful atmosphere so this concludes our little show of uh, moods created by fog mist and light and may your uh, brush create what you see in your mind <laughs>